But get up. Hey, Rogers, make a video about Luxembourg. Yeah, Luxembourg is a country in EU, European Union. Yeah, because I told you, Europe has 26 countries, and you can get a Schengen visa from any country in Europe. Yeah, it's called multi entry. Yeah, you can go get your visit visa and come and stay in Luxembourg. Yeah, Lu so now Luxembourg is offering short stay visa hmm, for 2025. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about the requirements, eligibility, and how to apply. So make sure you like the video, subscribe. Yeah, for uh, algorithm, you, you need to like the video so that the video can get to many people. So as Luxembourg renews its commitment to welcoming international travelers. The country has extended its short-stay Schengen visa for 2025, allowing visitors to experience up to 90 days of travel within 180 days. Yeah. So today, I'm going to be covering everything you need to know about Luxembourg. So this guide covers everything you need to know about Luxembourg short-term visa including eligibility, permitted travel purposes, required documentation, and a detailed application process. So, you are, you are there asking, how can I move to Luxembourg for a short stay? Hmm? <laughs> a short stay visa. Hmm? So, the Luxembourg short stay visa, or Schengen visa type C, permits travelers to visit Luxembourg and other Schengen countries for up to 90 days. 90 days means it's three months. Yeah. But you'll be given 180 days. Yeah. On your visa. So you can come to uh, Luxembourg. So this type of visa provides seamless access. Not only to Luxembourg. But also other Schengen countries. Making it an ideal choice for tourists and business travelers. It simplifies multi-country European travel. So Luxembourg short-term visa will be your getaway to explore 26 European countries visa-free, including popular destinations like France, Germany, Italy, and Spain. Especially Germany, where I live. Germany is the best country you can visit because of the historical uh, sites like the Berlin Wall and everything. Even the, how do you call them? These are, uh, I've forgotten the name, but... As I make the video, I'll tell you. So, if you get your Schengen visa at the Luxembourg uh, Embassy, validity, yeah? So, you will enjoy stays up to 90 days within a 180-day period because you'll be stamped with 180 days at the uh, Luxembourg Embassy in Kenya or wherever you are watching this video from. So, you can Google on where you can get your consulate, yeah? Where they... Uh, they have their consulate you can uh, go to their website and check and then we, if you get this visa it means multi-country access you can explore beyond luxembourg yeah, because the visa grants access to all schengen area countries in europe only not in america not in australia not in the uk so let me give you key reason to apply for a luxembourg visa yeah so the Luxembourg short visa stay uh, visa stay allows you multiple travel purposes such as tourism. You can discover Luxembourg's cultural landmark, museums, natural beauty, yeah, and then family or friends visit. Yeah, you can visit family members or friends res uh, residing in Luxembourg. So if you have friends in Luxembourg, you can still get this visa and move. To Luxembourg and visit them, enjoy with your family, cousin, your aunt, your uncle, yeah. But uh, if you are Kenyan, you know, if your relatives are living in Luxembourg, <coughs> forget about it because they have this like jealous mentality, yeah. They don't want to uh, see you prosper. Hmm? If you ask them, ah, how is life in Luxembourg? They tell you, ah, it's yes, very hard, paying rent and whatever, whatever. Because in Luxembourg, life is a little bit. Uh, easier because we have free transport like you can go to school free you can go shopping free you can move one place to another free you don't pay anything at the uh, train station or bus station yeah and then it's the cleanest country and <clears throat> and very uh, uh it has a sec uh, tight security yeah so also you can move to 
a Luxembourg with business, eh? attend professional meetings and conference, or explore business opportunities because you can uh, start like uh, how do you call it uh, importing stuff from luxembourg and bring them to your country yeah so guys you can go uh, and apply for these visas also for cultural and sports events yeah if you are like into basketball football uh, athletics yeah you can try and come to luxembourg with cultural and sports events eh? participate in or attend cultural festival sports events or artistic performance yeah this is the easiest way to move uh, to europe uh, using sports i have friends who, who, who have moved to europe using sports playing football in belgium i have one friend uh, athletics like you can de uh, design or how do you call it like you can say that my country doesn't provide uh, necessary documents for me to prosper so i want to move to a different country and run for that country yeah you can even move to luxembourg with a medical yeah you receive a short-term medical treatment or consultation in luxembourg or official visits government official on short official assignments this is the easiest way to move to luxembourg also because i have seen here in kenya corruption yeah Someone is not working with the uh, uh, Nairobi County, but when they are moving abroad, they will take even the slay queens, they will take the famous guys, they will take everyone they are uh, sleeping with at the embassy. They say these are officials hmm, from a Kenyan uh, uh, representative. Yeah? Please accord them the uh, necessary attention. Hey, hey Kenya. <laughs> and then you find that uh, these slay queens will move to Europe uh, on official visit, but they are just on holiday yeah maybe sleeping with officials or whatever and then we also have short term study yeah you can enroll in short term courses or language programs yeah and then we have other short term purposes that fit within the visa guidelines so eligibility yeah criteria for luxembourg visa to qualify for the luxembourg short stay visa applicants must meet specific eligibility conditions yeah such as number one valid passports you cannot uh, say i want to move to luxembourg and you don't have a valid passport so go get those uh, passports at the nyayo uh, nyayo house yeah? a passport with uh, at least three months validity beyond the intended departure from the schengen area number two you have to have a purpose of stay yeah you need to have a clear documentation of the visit's purpose such as invitation letter or a conference registration number three financial proof evidence of sufficient fast, uh, funds to cover the stay at uh, uh, and return trip such as bank statements and bank statement it doesn't mean that you just go ask money from your friends and just put it in a uh, bank account because they'll ask my friend from january february march april there's no money that is coming into your account but since you want to uh, go to luxembourg now you have like one million in your account how did you get this money where did you get this money are you stealing are you doing wash wash are you uh, scamming people so you have to explain like I earn this money like you can have uh, a letter from uh, a letter of employment from your employer uh, they, they will state that you earn uh, this amount of my amount every month and uh, the bank statement should show how your money enters the account how you draw how you earn uh, extra cash and so on and so on yeah so financial proof is very important another thing number four travel insurance for me when i was traveling i used to use uh aig insurance at the westlands in, in nairobi so you need to have medical travel insurance with a minimum coverage of thirty thousand euros mm, valid throughout the schengen area another thing you should have is accommodation proof of lodging such as hotel reservation or an invitation from a host or you can use uh, hostels you have a lot of hostels in luxembourg very cheap but you're going to be staying in one room 
with like uh, five people, yeah, <laughs> three people. If we are, you love your privacy, just get a Airbnb or an, uh, a hotel booking, yeah. Then you should love number six, return or onward ticket, hmm? a confirmed return ticket or onward travel proof because they need air ticket. They, they will ask you if we give you a visa, how will you travel? Show them the a return a ticket you can get uh, these tickets at you just go to like a uh, turkish uh, airline tell them you want to go for a uh, visit in uh, europe so they'll give you like itinerary like uh, they'll print out like reservation and then they'll give you you take it to a uh, luxembourg embassy also you can have security clearance hmm? applicants should not be listed in the schengen information system c i SIS oh, <laughs> as a, a security threat yeah so you need uh, to be not uh, have been deported from any Schengen countries in Europe yeah so step by step guide to applying for the Luxembourg visa yeah check visa requirements determine if your nationality requires a visa to enter Luxembourg by consulting official resources number two Complete the visa application. Fill out the application form available on the Luxembourg government portal. Yeah, so you can go to the Luxembourg website and search. Number three, prepare required documents. Yeah, collect essential documents including valid passport, passport size photos, proof of visit or purpose, e.g., invitation letter, financial proof, e.g., bank statement, travel insurance, and accommodation proof. Then number four, you can schedule appointment, arrange appointment at the Luxembourg Embassy or Consulate in your country or residence. Number five, submit the application, attend your appointment to apply, including biometric data, fingerprints and photo uh, photograph. Number six, pay visa fee. The fee for a short stay visa of June 2024 is 90 euros for adults and 45 euros for children aged 6 to 12. And then number seven, wait for the processing. Processing time vary, but applying at least 15 days before travel is recommended to avoid delays. Number eight, you receive visa decision. After processing, the consulate or embassy will notify uh, you of the decision, either if your visa is approved or not approved. Yeah. So these recent updates for Schengen visa 2024. So uh, Luxembourg has introduced several updates to its short stay visa policy. Fee increase. Visa fees rose to 90 euros for adults and 45 uh, euros for children aged 6 to 12. And then you have EU blue card directive. Because as of July 2024, Luxembourg uh, implemented the updated EU blue card directive, simplifying the path for highly skilled that world countries professionals to work in luxembourg yeah so my final words if you want to move to luxembourg for short stay visa you can try it yeah so the luxembourg short stay visa offers a convenient getaway for travelers to explore luxembourg and the wider schengen area with straightforward requirements and streamlined application process the visa allows visitors to experience europe's cultural business and educational opportunity opportunities seamlessly for up to 90 days and i'll see you on the next one bye bye